ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு ஃபார்மாஜிஸ்ட் மை செல்ஃப் டாக்டர் ஹைமாவதி இந்த ப்ரெசென்ட் வீடியோ வீல் வி டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் வாட் ஆர் ஸ்கோரிங் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் தர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் வாட் ஆர் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்கோரிங் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஸோ பிஃபோர் பிகினிங் த யூ வீடியோ ஆஸ் யூஷுவல் டு நாட் ஃபார் கெட் டு லைக் ஷேர் அண்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு மை சேனல் ஃபார் மோர் வீடியோஸ் அண்ட் இந்த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஐ ஹவ் மென்ஷன் த ரெஃபரன்ஸ் மெட்டீரியல் விச் ஐ ஹவ் யூஸ் ஃபார் ப்ரிப்பேரிங் திஸ் வீடியோ ஸோ இஃப் யூஆர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டட் டு நோ மோர் அபவுட் திஸ் ஸ்கோரிங் ஃபங்க்ஷன் you can uh, visit uh, go through the description box for the reference material now coming to scoring so what is me- meant by scoring in a docking program when you perform a molecular docking experiment you take a protein and then you take a ligand so when the ligand binds to the protein what happens conformations are generated so when there are a few number of ligands you can manage uh, the data which is obtained is manageable you can identify manually the different conformations and then you can rank them accordingly but when you take a database of compounds so a database means it contains lakhs of compounds so the nem- amount of data which is generated is very huge which cannot be managed manually so in order to simplify the task we need a computational tool which can evaluate the conformations which are generated and then rank accordingly so based on the pro- binding affinity of the ligand to the protein and then differentiate between the native and non native binding modes so we need a computational tool which makes this task easier to evaluate rank it differentiate between the native and non native binding modes so all these functions are performed by using the scoring function so in order to come to the definition of what is a scoring function so a scoring function is that which identifies evaluates and ranks the ligand receptor binding modes and affinities it is an empirical approach to predict affinity empirical approach means which is based on experimental values and we have another term here which is known as consensus scoring function so consensus scoring function means when you are using more than one scoring function simultaneously it is known as consensus scoring function so what is the use of so using a consensus scoring function it makes more predictive when compared to using a single function example c score so this is a scoring function which uses more uh, types of scoring functions now coming to the what are the different types of scoring functions generally in literature we see that uh, there are three only three different types of scoring functions measure, uh, mentioned but in the paper which i have read an additional scoring function also they have mentioned so i have taken four different types of scoring functions based on that reference material the first one is the force field based or physics based method second empirical or regression based third one is knowledge based or potential of mean force based and the fourth one is descriptor based or machine learning based so coming to force field based method it is also known as physics based scoring function so it contains the non covalent energy terms of the force field so a force field contains two different forms in the functional form so a force field has a functional form which describes the energy of the molecule in terms of a bonded and non bonded terms so in the non bonded term we have the non covalent energy terms so in order to know what is the force field and what are the different terms in the force field you can watch my video which i have already uh, added to my channel so in that uh, the description of force field and what is the functional form in the force field are mentioned so uh, the non covalent energy terms in the force field that is the van der waals term and the electrostatic energy terms are used because the nature of the protein ligand interaction also involves more amount of van der waals and electrostatic interactions and we have also additional term for hydrogen bonding so this hydrogen bonding it may be either uh, implicitly included in the form of dielectric constant in the electrostatic energy term or also explicitly included so the earlier versions of dock and auto dock used amber force field in the scoring function and uh, as more and more uh, developments were made so additional uh, solvation terms like the poisson boltzmann and the generalized bond 
continuum solvation models were also included in addition to the force field uh, non covalent energy terms so the general functional form can be taken as uh, taken as uh, a sum of van der waal interactions electrostatic interactions hydrogen bonding and the desolvation uh, interactions and apart from that uh, the pb or gb solvation model and point approximation methods and then quantum mechanics so all these terms are also included in this force field based methods hence they are also known as physics based methods hence in the force field based method we have only non covalent parameters but because they are using additionally the solvation models and quantum mechanics it is also known as physics based method and next we have empirical or regression based method so the first uh, general purpose empirical scoring function was published by bohm in 1994 so in this uh, scoring function both the empirical and regression based models are present so in order to uh, calculate the fitness of the protein ligand binding the contributions of the individual terms are taken and each represents an energetic factor in this protein ligand binding the examples for this are ludi score kem score x score and glide score which is more famous so all these use the empirical scoring function in their docking program so the empirical scoring function it also relies on the multivariate regression analysis or partial least square analysis in order to derive the weight factor because we are saying that uh, the sum of uh, affinity is taken so the empirical scoring functions they are calibrated in order to produce the protein ligand affinities and we take a training set of uh, protein ligand complexes with known three dimensional structures and also the binding F affinity data in order to perform the regression analysis so when you are taking the previous method that is the physics based method it is based on a completely theoretical framework which uses only the energy function and the associate parameters but in an empirical scoring function it is more flexible and it also has an intuitive functional form so the example for this is the glide score the glide score xp has an intuitive functional form with an emphasis on recognizing the diversity so in the protein binding sites so uh, the interactions are generally non predictable so uh, it uses an intuitive functional form so in uh, in order to that it uses uh, certain rewarding uh, parameters and uh, penalizing parameters for the interaction patterns between the protein and the ligand so for an example for this is glide score it uses an hydrophobic enclosure so in addition to the uh, so when you consider the hydrophobic contacts between the protein and ligand in addition to this uh, considering this hydrophobic contacts it also uses an additional term which is known as hydrophobic enclosure uh, and uh, another uh, notable point in this empirical scoring functions is it includes only common protein ligand interaction patterns less common interaction patterns they are ignored even though they are strong such as the cat pi cation pi interaction because they are not significant so because we are performing a regression analysis also along with the empirical form uh, so less significant uh, interactions are ignored uh, next we have the knowledge based or potential of mean force based scoring function so in this uh, scoring function it uses some wise uh, pair some pair wise statistical potentials between the protein and the ligand so the distance between the uh, di uh, distance dependent potential between the atom pairs is derived from the inverse boltzmann analysis so the score examples for the scoring functions are the smog mugs pmf drug score it score and kecsa so these scoring functions they are based on knowledge based scoring functions. so in this what happens is the occurrence frequency of the pairwise contact is assumed to be a measure of its energetic contribution to the protein ligand binding so in order to derive these desired pairwise potentials the standard approach is 
to use a large set of protein ligand complex structures from the protein data bank as the training set. So, in order to derive this uh, pairwise potentials, a database of the co interacting complexes is taken as the knowledge base and then through statistical analysis of this uh, structural information and it uh, does not need the experimental binding data. It only takes the structural information data in order to evaluate the uh, interaction. And next we have the descriptor or machine learning based methods. So in this method, it is a bit different between uh, different when compared to the previous methods because the first three methods they are based on a force field and empirical approach. But in this, in this method, descriptors are used similar to that uh, QSAR. So how we use different descriptors in the QSAR? Similarly, in the scoring function, different descriptors are used and these descriptors which are important uh, so which have contributing factors to this protein ligand interactions like uh, electrostatic interactions, hydrogen bonds or aromatic stacking and geometrical descriptors like surface or shape properties and uh, ligand based descriptors like molecular weight, number of rotatable single bonds etc are considered in designing this disc, uh, function and uh, why it is a machine learning based method that also we will see. Uh, so, the different scoring functions uh, that are used are NN score, RF score, SFC score RF and ID score. So, these scoring functions, they employ this uh, descriptors as well as machine learning tools. So, apart from those descriptors, we use uh, machine learning algorithms like uh, random forest, Bayesian classifiers, neural network and support vector machines. These are used for variable selections. So, in this the variable selection is based on the machine learning algorithm. So, how you select the diff different descriptors does not depend on you but it depends on this machine learning algorithms which you use. So, these algorithms they are responsible for the variable selection and these methods they also need a training set of protein ligand complex with known structures and binding data to derive their final modes similar to empirical scoring functions. So, we have same. So, we have seen all the four different types of scoring functions. So, in the first three scoring functions, they are based uh, on force field methods. So, the force field values and then empirical methods and they are also dependent on the knowledge base that is the database which is available from the protein data bank which is having the known 3D structures of protein ligand interactions. And the final uh, fourth descriptor is it is based on machine learning algorithm and descriptor based. But uh, the common thing for all the four uh, scoring functions is the uh, knowledge base that is the database which is uh, needed in order to predict this data sets. So this is about the different uh, scoring functions. I hope the video was informative and useful to you. So if you find the video informative, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. It encourages me to make more and more videos. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the future.